Um, it's great to see you. Funny story. So this is the very first Hawaiian shirt I've owned in my entire life. Really? And I only bought it for you to talk with you today. And I appreciate the love. <laughs> Thank you very much. And it's a very nice shirt. Thank you. Is it is it kind of unofficial or is there is there a? Well, it's it's buttoned a little high. Oh, for my taste. Okay, well, uh, there you go. You wear a t-shirt underneath, and I screw up by doing that as well. I but... don't, but you can. That's okay. okay. It's no rules. Uh, you just got to feel the aloha. That's what I feel right that's now, it, brother. So as I was watching this, I was at the premiere in L.A. Yeah. And uh, I'm watching this film, and I'm like, you know what? Hobbs and Shaw, to me, they're kind of like superheroes. Do you, is that a fair statement? Can we say that? Superheroes without capes. Okay, superheroes without capes. Superheroes without capes, doing things that, uh, you, uh, uh, if this is reality, <laughs> their reality is up here. And also, uh, you know, we wanted to totally make a movie that was like a comedy. And there was a lot of comedy in the movie. We also wanted to make sure that we had, had our own identity, create like an action comedy that had someone of a vintage throw back, like Lethal Weapon. Right. Movies like that. Uh, we had two guys who hated each other, but eventually had to come together for the greater good. I mentioned the shirt. We're in Hawaii right now. Uh, what made it special for you to actually, because you're from here, to work here and work with your cousins? And, and, and did you let your mom go to the set? Oh, uh, brother, I got to tell you, this movie is deeply personal to me for a few reasons. Number one, of course, that you want to honor the Fast and Furious franchise and continue to elevate it with Hobbs and Shaw. But also, this was the very first time ever in the history of Hollywood that the Samoan culture, one of my cultures, uh, has ever been um, showcased, ever, in a big budget movie like this that goes global, so uh, it was just really so gratifying for us to be able to showcase culture. Also, my mom came to set, and she watched us do what we were doing, as we were doing the Siba Tao, the Siba Tao is a, is a, is a ritual ceremony of uh, somewhat of a dance before you go to war, and it's the it's the Samoan version of a haka. Very intense, very emotional. We did it as we were doing it. I look over, and my mom's sitting over there. She starts crying, and she's like hard crying because it's it's what moms do. And when moms are, especially with my mom, just so proud that all my culture is going to be shown to. And, you know, that's what we all want because we all come from different cultures, and this opportunity to showcase our culture to the world was great. You know, I'm a mama's boy as well, so I love you. I've actually met my mom, and uh, she says hello. Please tell your mom I said hello. As well. I will. My you friend, met my mom too, right? How yeah, we sat together, Jumanji. Yes. <laughs> you came over and said, "Oh wait, that's Rock's mom." Yeah. Uh, always great talking with you, man. You're the best. Seriously, talking to you, brother. You rock.